Hey everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a large CSV file, like the one on the left of our screen, into a MySQL database table, as that on the right, using the load data in file statement. If you have ever tried to import a large CSV file into MySQL before, you know that it can be a slow and frustrating process. But with low data in file, you can quickly and efficiently import large amounts of data into your MySQL database. Let's get started and jump to our first section. Before we get started, there are a few things you will need. You will need access to a MySQL server and database, as well as a CSV file that you want to import. If you don't have a MySQL server set up yet, you can find two video links on how to do that step by step in the description below. Also, you'll need to create an empty database table with the appropriate columns and data types, in which our CSV file to be imported. Take these requirements into your consideration before continuing this video, and follow along with us. The first thing you will need to do is prepare your CSV file for import. Before we begin the data preparation step, there are some necessary tips we should take into consideration in order to prevent any error while importing. First of all, if we have any columns with dates, it's recommended to use the default MySQL data style which is the year, followed by the month, followed by the day, separated by the dash or minus sign. The second tip is to use normal number formatting, for all columns with numbers. Don't use currency, percentage formats, or any other one that add a specific symbol beside the number. These formats make MySQL read them as a text or string not a number as we tell MySQL while creating the empty database table. The last thing is to avoid using the thousand separators in numbers. Because it will be interpreted as a comma delimiter, and raise an error. Let's start cleaning our data. The first thing we will notice is that the invoice date column is not in a date format. So let's change it into date. But as we said, we need to convert it into MySQL default style. We can also notice blank cells in the price per unit column. As we know that the price per unit is the result of the division of the total sales by the total units sold. So, let's filter only for all blank cells. And enter a simple formula to calculate it. We can also check on all columns and see if there are any blank cells again or not. Here we find other blank cells in the region column. We can replace all these cells with the correct region for each of those states. We know that Texas is in the south region and California in the west and Illinois in the Midwest. We can make sure about our information by filtering for those states only and see other rows. And here we are right. know any other blank cells again. Great. Lastly, we will change the formats of the price per unit and operating profit columns into number without any thousand separators. And remove them from the total sales and units sold columns. Now our data is ready for the next step. Next, you will need to create the database table that will hold the data from your CSV file. 
we'll use MySQL create table statement to create a new table with the appropriate columns and data types. We must make sure to match the column names and data types to those in your CSV file. First, we create a new database using the create database statement and name it sales. We then write a simple query to tell MySQL that I will use this database. Then we create a table and name it Adidas Sales and start enter its columns names and data types. The first column is the retailer. We give it a data type varchar which means variable character. We give it a maximum length of 255 characters. Then, the retailer ID column. We give it a data type named INT which is the abbreviation of integer. We will repeat the process for each column until we add all of them. Here we created our table. Let's go to the final step. Now, it is time to import your CSV file into your MySQL database table. To import our file, we need first to save it as a CSV file. And locate it in the database directory. To do this, we go to program data in the local disk C then. Go to MySQL. MySQL server, data. Here we can find a folder with our database name. We go to it and paste the file there. Now, we are ready to import our file. We will type load data in file and write the file name between quotes. Then, write into table, and enter the table name which is, Adidas Sales. We then tell MySQL that fields, which means columns, are terminated by, and put comma which is the actual delimiter of our file, and type ignore one lines, to start importing from the second row as the first is the table titles which we don't need. And here's our table imported successfully in almost no time. And that's it. With low data in file, you can quickly and easily import large CSV files into your MySQL database. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.